Hallo, mein Name ist Nick und ich bin mit Alex und Gaden. You are really, really struggling there. Yeah, that, that was something you should have okay. not struggled with. But let's just continue. So yeah, this is my Dutch friend Nick. Hello, I'm Nick. <laughs> and my my other friend Caden from Colorado. We don't have a special uh, language. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> so today we will be discussing um, the topic of what if Austria didn't exist and rather was an ocean, not an ocean, a sea. God damn it. So I have this insane map in my background, um, a concept dubbed, made by myself, um, which basically turned Austria into the Sea of Liechtenstein. I'm gonna zoom in on it. Stop, Nick. I'm gonna zo zoom in on it. Right here. What would the geographic effects of this be? Right. Who wants to start? Nekria. Caden. Caden. All right. Um, Caden, what do you think would change in a modern world? Like, well, would, which I trade mean... routes would be interrupted? How would Germany, Liechtenstein, Switzerland, Hungary, and so on go on with this? Well, the first thing we got to establish is how deep is the sea? Considering it's right next to the Alps, does it just go deeper than the Mariana Trench? Like that is an excellent question, actually. How deep would this sea be, Nick? Uh, you wanna like yeah, yeah. give like a parameter? Uh, I would. Uh, if it would be a sea, I would guess it's like on the deepest parts. It would be like maybe two two three hundred meters. Two three hundred. Just near the near the coasts. Right. Like, would well, be like maybe just well, then, well, then I'll say this would be one heck of a dive. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. But for the what if scenario, do we go with like Austria spontaneously disappears or it always was like this? What are you guys? Spontaneous. 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 All right. So let's say today we have the 6th, if, <clears throat> the 6th of June. Um, let's just say Austria for some reason just immediately turns to a sea and like about 8 million people disappear. Uh, what would be um, the consequences of that? Uh, well, right. if it disappeared right now, we wouldn't be on this podcast anymore. Well, that is one thing. That's of completely time. right. <clears throat> like, one of the, mo the most beautiful countries would just be under the water. That... But, like, you, ha you have to realize that... Like, Damn, the... I didn't know we were talking about... Shut Canada the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> like, the west part of it would just be, like, mountains surrounded by, like, sea. So it would be like really weird to see and a really weird concept. So basically trade from like Switzerland would become very hard to come to like Eastern countries to like, let's say Hungary, Bulgaria, Romania, you name it. Mm. Well, wouldn't it be, be easier because you know you don't have to cross the Alps anymore? Then again, Switzerland is a landlocked country and I fancy they don't have any ships at all. Like uh, they have a navy. They probably do. <laughs> do they have a navy? I don't, yeah, I think don't they do. It, but I'm pretty sure they have a navy. <laughs> well, I'm impressed. Why would they? Why would they need a navy? Do they just got the rivers? For, uh, for the rivers. For the rivers. You, you, never, you never know when the Germans are going to come down the Danube. <laughs> I mean, they just do. They not have like this security protocol where they just blow up their country if the Germans attack or like someone of their surroundings. Like Switzerland is one of the most fortified countries, so. They don't really need a navy they in that have, sense. They have more bunkers in Switzerland than, than population. Like yeah, they, I, th yeah. I think the statistic is they could fit two and a half times their population in the bunker. Yeah. Do I have a source for that? No, uh, but... <laughs> yeah, I watched a video about it. They have like three million o places over. Jesus Christ. So in Switzerland, like, let's say, Switzerland is really fought, right? Let's say they have a navy. But would this make trade easier or harder? Easier. I think. Easier, yeah. Because in Bratislava... What oh, what? In what way? Like, Bratislava, the oh, capital oh. of Slovakia, for example, is right located near t next to the sea. So, they, for example, with Slovakia, they can just trade directly because the boat is the cheapest place to transport cargo with. Like, so it would be a lot I cheaper for... <laughs> just carry the cargo ship across the land. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Get real. It will. Get real. Um, right, but that would like make Slovenia and Italy even more important countries, right? Because um, they border both that sea and the Adriatic Sea, making like yeah, 
a possibility for a second Suez Canal type of deal. Okay, the Suez Canal is nowhere near as big as that. That's the biggest problem, though. So if anything, it'd be like fly to the sea and then drop it off. And I mean, you know, there's, the there's, there's always the possibility. A man can dream. I mean, yeah. But they would probably make how it like long a... actually would that di- sorry for interrupting how long would actually that be the distance like from the top of slovenia to like the adriatic coast like f- uh, 100 kilometers maybe <laughs> right so say. and how long is this west not that long <laughs> hold on uh just kind of measure it real quick 200 uh yeah 200 200 200 yeah. kilometers. Right. And what so, do you say the uh, Slovenia thing would be? Like, you could create uh, another type of Suez kind of type of thingy for easier exports to the Mediterranean, which could also give the area a significant boost in development. Like, Croatia, oh, yeah. uh, Montenegro, Albania, Greece, and all that could now so profit from easier. Can you repeat? Croatia is already on the Mediterranean. That's what I mean. But they are not connected to Austria. And now Germany would have like an easy route if there was like a Swiss type of canal. Uh, Germany would have an easier route to like the southern countries. Like a cheaper route. Rather than with plane or with trucks. Yeah, or places like Germany and stuff can now trade directly with China because you right right now RL you need to like go around yeah you're right yeah. you would need to go around the Dutch the Belgians the French English Spain Portugal and all that now you can just kind of go down and like it would, it would reduce the cost of uh, traveling or just transporting way like way lighter and it the, would be Chinese, like it's really attractive even with that like it would so, uh, shorten the time as well, which also like <clears throat> protects the environment, like trees and all that. It kind of saves the earth in a way, because you have to travel less. Yeah, but would it be as would would the, the location be like three hundred meters above sea level or on sea level or how is the location? Because it, if it's like three hundred meters above, it could be like a sweet lake, and it could help like a lot of people get solid drinking water um i wasn't thinking about it as that way i was thinking about it as like the caspian sea a type of that thingy oh. like maybe not that big but like relatively deep so ships can actually salt pass water. yeah salt water yeah. like what is it in case landmass uh what was um, that thing in russia yeah. you you mentioned before Caden? the thing in russia the thing in Russia. Yeah, that one sea that goes really deep, like the deepest sea in the world. Uh, I forget what its name, but it's by Mongolia, I believe. Yeah, it's by Mongolia. It's like the deepest, the deepest location in the world of a sea. Mm-hmm. Well, I, well, I mean, if you're talking about the deepest location in the world, you got the Marianas. But yeah, that's why I did to the sea. I said a bit too late, but yeah. Um. Like, Here's a question for both of you two then, Be- because uh, you're talking about a lot of trade going through. How long do you think it'd be to build up the like ports that would actually be needed and to get ships in? Honestly, I don't think it would actually take that long. I think the more difficult part is actually establishing that connection between the Sea of Liechtenstein and the Adriatic Sea, like the Suez type of kind of thingy. I would take. I would guess that would take a bit longer than making some ports. Well, then how yeah. long would the canal take? Uh, it depends on think. what kind of, uh, like, how they work. Because, like, for example, the Suez Canal and the Panama Canal used a lot of slaves. So that would, like, go twice as fast as how we would create a canal nowadays. First of all, that. And second of all, it would also um, take into consideration which countries would work on it. Like, if only Italy and Slovenia work on it, like, it's going to take a long while. It's going to take, like... 10 to 20 years, but if like most of the European nations combine their efforts, like the Ad France, Ad Germany, it could take much shorter time. It could take like five years, maybe. Yeah, I would guess I around that. 
Da? I heard uh, China is also looking to build a canal like to shorten the the travel time. So they would they would probably invest a lot of their money into a canal. Yeah, I could see the Chinese helping us with this project, honestly. Like, what is it? Volunteer Force, I believe it's called. When you send like workers from another country. Yeah. Uh, but counter question, how long do you think it would take for ports to be built slash the canal gate and like um do you uh, think it would just take forever or currently I'm just measuring the distance so I can get an accurate um uh, Oh you're measurement. you're doing the accurate stuff. Yeah. Oh so the, the canal between uh what I believe would be the shortest or let's just say we're going along the Italian Slovenian Slovenian border for the canal it'd be about 80 kilometers which is a good half that of the Suez Canal but the Suez Canal took uh 10 years but it was also in like really flat desert land while that would be in well along there not too mountainous I don't believe but still more mountainous than uh the Suez so we don't really have access to as abundant labor there but we do have access to better machinery so the question is like how does that all affect it it could even out honestly like there's some pros there's some cons we obviously as you said have more advanced machine tools we have a smaller workforce but honestly i think it would kind of work out the same way like if it took 10 years this probably would take 10 years as well yeah but there was all there were also a lot of rivers from going from north to south italy on the place so they could probably also use a river too so you're saying to deepen the rivers then yeah, because yeah. like the rivers do they not origin from the mountains? Yeah. So we kinda have to drive a ship up like a kilometer. Like I, I'm looking at uh Google Maps here and uh I a lot of the rivers that I'm seeing they just kinda cut off midway, so you'd have to build a lot of it yourself though. Yeah, but it would still save a lot of money from just building an entire canal. I mean yeah, fair. Would it though? Yeah. Like, I'm gonna look up Google Maps real quick myself because. Wait. Right. Because I believe most of these rivers are on like mountains. And like, you would have to go like up the mountain first of all to even take the river. Like, that alone would be very expensive. Yes. Like, you have. You would have to go like. A solid kilometer up on some of these places it's like an elevator for ships yeah like th that's the point a lot of it is mountainous so what you do and also the rivers aren't even that wide so there's a chance that like another evergreen happens <laughs> <laughs> well the evergreen happened because of a strong wind gust not because it was too wide for the uh yeah. i know but still um it takes one wind gust uh right here in like any river and the entire river is blocked and like most of the countries would be screwed like czechia doesn't have the ability to go like through germany slovakia also doesn't have the ability to do it like all of these landlocked countries which would not be landlocked anymore like but at least not as hard would have no ability to go around well, are, don't some cargo ships already go down the Danube? Yeah, I think they do. They do, but the Danube only leads to, like, Stuttgart. Oh, yeah, but it eventually leads out to sea, no? Uh, no. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. but it, through Bulgaria, through Romania, through Serbia, through Croatia. Like, you would have... You, you must get a lot of licenses for that. Well, yeah. Then you end up in the Black Sea. And if you want to go further to like China, you would also have uh, to get a license from Turkey too, then. Because like the Istanbul Strait is kind of, yeah, private territory, as you could say. But isn't, wasn't one of the uh, World War One things like you can't tax the freight? I'm pretty sure they still do that though. I'm not 100% convinced, but I think I've heard something about it. Might need to look that up, though. <laughs> I might just be chatting a bit of shit here, but yeah. 
we roll. Right, for like tourism now. Um, in what way would the sea affect it? Would there be any new beaches or something? Or would it just be like still mountain tourism? Like from a mm -hmm. political perspective. Like Germany, I believe, is not even that high up in the mountains. I believe it's rather flat over there. Like Czechia as well, Slovakia especially. Maybe there could be some beaches originating from there. Hungary maybe. Yeah, was... Is uh, Austria like a warm, like a warm climate or? Um, it depends on the time of year. Um, in summer it can go up summer. to like 34 degrees. Hmm. Like probably Slovenia would be, would become a really popular tourist destination because it would have like a few flat spots maybe. In Germany as well. Yeah, Germany, Slovenia. Slovenia already is like a tourist destination, but it would yeah, increase know, but... even more because now they have another coastline. Like Slovenia, if you don't want to count in Italy, would become the major like benefit of this sudden occurrence. Sure, because they would own the canal. They would, they would first of all own own the canal. They have beaches, like they have everything. Like Slovenia is like profiting from this so much. Well, I mean, who's to say that the sea would have actual beaches when it could just be like rocky shoals? Yeah, that's the problem with Italy and Switzerland, I believe. Like, the Alps are still, they, they still exist on that side. Like, the Alps aren't completely gone. So that's why I think, like, Slovenia, especially, them, like, they, they will have, like, a massive benefit. Because Italy, yeah. the land might just be unusable for, like, ports, tourism, or anything of that matter. Mm -hmm. Like, what did you just say? What exactly? What did you just say? Like the the land, mountains? the coast of Italy would just be unusable because of the Alps, or barely usable. Oh, like, in the northern, the the then northern coast. The northern coast, yeah, the one next to Slovenia. Yeah, like was, right here. I'm gonna show it on the map. How how popular? Like they have a lot of huge like ports, where the canal would be like Trest. Venice would be close. So they would like probably boom and increase a lot in size. Mm, Venice could actually be also a good benefit from that. Trieste even more. Yeah, you're right. And Mont Falcon, I don't I've never heard of it, but that would probably become the center since it's like closest to the it, honestly it might the canal might just go through it. If you think yeah. about it. But what kind of difference it would would that make to the local population? Like, would I would, I could see like Mon Falcon increase in size by like twice, three times maybe, because like it could become like a major destination for like ships and everything. Yeah. And the city would also gain in popularity. Like everyone wants to see like the new canal being built slash being active. It would also probably inc increase the GDP of a lot of people there. Yeah, it would also okay. offer like. A lot of new workplaces, like, you like, need to maintain that channel. You know, it would probably become something like Monaco, I, I think. Like as, like Monaco as... with a big kind of... I could yes. see that. Are they going to put like... a F1 track there as well? Let's go. Let's go. Slovenia Grand Prix. It's still in Italy, but sure. Just... Just give it to Slovenia, let's go. I mean, they literally called the... Uh... What the fuck is that called? Dunbergring, the Luxembourg Grand Prix. So why not name this one the Slovenia Grand Prix? That is a fair point. What else? What else is there to say? Let me think. Um, from a relation standpoint, like, would in relations between like the Czech Republic and Italy increase, decrease, or would they just stay neutral, like? They have a new sudden connection to each other. Like they don't need to go through Austria, like transmit that. They can just go directly to that country. What would happen? I think I think uh, the relations would probably decrease. If I'm being totally honest. And why is that? Because if they want to, like for for example, if Slovenia puts a lot of money into it, they can also put tax on the trades, like a little bit of money, so they can earn as well. And that probably countries like Czechia and Slovakia would probably not like that a lot. And it would create a lot of internal conflicts and a lot of 
like regulations who, which need to be made before they can even discuss it. Then again, all of these countries are in the EU, but Switzerland and Liechtenstein. So there's also this thing called the Schengen Rome. Like you can travel between countries without issues. Yeah, that's true. Will it still affect though? That's been affected with that canal is the question. I don't know. They would hmm. probably change a lot of uh, the uh, treaty. But I think it, it would eventually be sorted out, of course. I can I can see Italy more on that side, like changing, at least abusing the treaty more than Slovenia. Like I don't yeah. think Slovenia would raise taxes just because of that. I can see Italy doing it though, because Italy, I believe, is in very much of debt. Yeah. Like not as bad as Spain or Greece, but Italy still is in a huge debt yeah. with the other EU countries. So they kind of need to make that money back. Yeah, also about the geographical location, especially around the mountain. Wouldn't it increase sea level around the world a lot? Because, like, imagine all of, the, all of that ice sliding into uh, the uh, sea. Like, that, is, a lot of melt. that is something that Caden can actually answer. I think he wanted to actually say something, so go ahead. What was the question? Uh, how would this affect sea levels globally? So, I mean, what you're saying, it's... 300 meters uh, or below sea level from the top yes, of the lake. Yeah. So, well, I mean, if, if we're talking about, okay, you know, I, mm. well, it would lower the, it would lower the sea level uh, globally because let's just say it was snapped and then the water got taken from the rest of the world. So, like, a lot of places that are in danger of flooding uh, probably wouldn't be as endangered anymore. But would it be taken? But will it be taken from like the seas itself? That's the question now. I have like, kind of extended the question. Would it be ex taken from like other seas, or would it just be like spontaneous water? Like, do does like my house become a water mess? Well, when when you say spontaneous, that's like, or I I'm thinking like, okay, hole gets made. We're just gonna pretend the land doesn't exist anymore. But like the right. water, if that if that was to be just you know freeze a teleported from everywhere on the earth or i guess it really doesn't matter but let's just say everywhere equally i mean is it enough to actually make a difference i imagine so considering you know, the size and uh, depth of what it would be so i imagine like who knows if venice would still have their canals that'd probably be something italy would be bad about yeah i'm just thinking about like for example all of the cities being underwater would Vienna? No, 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 no. They, they oh. wouldn't be. Or are you talking about the Austrian cities being underwater? Or global? Uh, we are talking about Austria. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, talking about Vienna. Wouldn't it like become an underwater underwater civilization? Couldn't it become one? I mean, we talked about it being spontaneously, um, like let's say combustible. <laughs> I don't think Vienna would have much time to like engulf itself yeah, in like no. a bubble. I, well, yeah, but it could be submerged and they could like drain the water of, of some houses like making an underwater hotel or something that, at least it would be a I cool mean, place to dive scenario, i'm assuming it's just like oh yeah vienna just doesn't exist anymore Maybe yeah i would have it. assumed that as well you were saying that like oh yeah eight million people just disappear spontaneously yeah oh buenos dias alex if we're, go if we're going off that I mean, yeah oh yeah then never mind then i i get your point but like I don't think I was talking about Austria just kind of instantly, instantaneously turning into a water mass, like just becoming a sea. Like there's no chance like Vienna has time to even react to it. It's just like that. It becomes a, a water mass in the middle of Europe. I mean, not to mention like, OK, if it spontaneously happened, I mean, people would probably think, what, what would people be thinking? That's the question. There. That is actually an excellent question. Like what I would the I UN do? I don't think it's something for the UN. I think it's something for the superstitious people going oh, or not even the superstitious people, just like anyone really, <laughs> not even religious people. Just oh my god, entire country just 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 disappeared. Yeah, out of could it happen to what our is... country as well? Like yeah, that type of thing. But also, yeah. would would the it, increase it, of I like probably... the water? Oh. Yeah, talk. Oh, that was awkward. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, no, I insist you go. 
Okay, I insist I go as well. Um, <laughs> but would the water level, like, would Austria, like, go down or would the water go up? Like, Austria would go down, right? Uh, yeah, or... we said, like, I think it was you who established the metric, like, 300 meters sea level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but because if the water would just go, like... Would would it be like in a split second, or would it just like take a week or a few in hours? In a split second, just instantaneously. Just like Minecraft mode. Yeah, yeah. just oh. replace block basically. Yeah, yeah. Then people couldn't react in time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, Nick, what did you want to say? Have you forgotten? Perhaps. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we were about the UN, religious people and all that stuff. Oh, like, is yeah. Uh, I mean, really though, it'd probably just cause mass, mass public just distress. Like, if people weren't religious before, oh damn right, they're gonna be praying to Allah next. <laughs> <laughs> like, he turned that shit. And then people would be asking themselves, would it happen to my country as well? Like, could Poland yeah. be the next country to just, like, kind of evaporate? Yeah. Imagine the George Floyd riots, but just everywhere. And that is a good by analogy. Riots, by riots, I mean a Walmart looting. I don't mean black <laughs> <or> <laughs> I I think that would be one of the few things people would have on their minds. <laughs> They're just going crazy. Like public unrest would be at their all time high. Oh, hundred percent. And I think island nations like the UK, like Ireland, Cyprus, even Greece, partly would be even further scared because like they're surrounded by water <laughs> like they know what's well, coming well, well then well then the point is like if austria does it that's about that's pretty landlocked i mean it's not like it just oh yeah the water may have just crept up really quickly one day know it you know engulfed the borders of the country so you know it's something uh supernatural so i i don't people might be more scared of the water but i don't think that would be the or I don't think islanders would be more because of it. That makes sense too. It's a fifty-fifty, honestly. Or right, let's let's go test it now and see what happens. Oh, honestly, yeah. <laughs> Does someone have like a shit ton of yeah. TNT and water just lying around? <laughs> that's, that's, where the, that's just where the podcast ends. <laughs> um. Like Anything, really any questions you guys have? Like, we can elaborate further. Yeah. Would there be, um, like, revol actual revolutions in countries because of the unrest? Well, I mean, like would... I said before, it'd likely be a lot of rioting, and the governments would probably have a hard time, like, calming them because, you know, an entire country just disappeared. <laughs> like, not anywhere random. Like, it wasn't just crater. It wasn't perfect circle. It was just, oh, yeah, perfectly outlined. It would be like like the Area 51 meme, but extremely worse than it would actually happen. George Floyd? Like, a lot of smaller and weaker countries could actually fall into anarchy. Like, Kosovo already has to deal with so much stuff. I think they will just fall into anarchy, honestly. If I could also see, like, countries like the Netherlands become, like, revolutionized. Revolutionized? Like... Yes. Um, yes, comrade. Get a revolution. Sorry. Because, like, people are already, like, really liking their freedom of speech here. I can tell you that much. <laughs> and it will be, would become, like, uh, like, how am I supposed to say it? Nah, the government couldn't be able, wouldn't be able to handle it. Yeah, like, even with the, even with bigger countries such as, like, the US and Germany, I mean, they'd probably be one of the, uh, or I'm not going to say this, I'm going to say, like, Germany and Italy because they're right next to it. Like, they're like, oh god, maybe if this spreads, spreads out towards us. It's a virus. <laughs> so the water virus. virus. <laughs> Austrian virus, let's go. Um, then again, um, another question I have is, like, Liechtenstein now has a sea out of all of a sudden. Um, but I know for a fact that, like, Slovenia has a big problem with, like, their sea connection to the other side. Um, there's, like, this UN regulation where, basically... A country's coast stretches out 300 meters from its coastline and basically everything within that 300 meters belongs to the country 
and Slovenia gets kind of blocked off by Italy and Croatia in this way. So they only have like a tiny space to work with. Would this be the same for like Liechtenstein? Because Germany and Italy kind of encase Switzerland already, and Switzerland itself encases Liechtenstein even more. Well, well, because it's just extending. So, I mean, if you look at like Bosnia's uh, EEZ, so the economic thing, it just kind of juts out, but Croatia just kind of borders it on both sides. So, I imagine that would be the case. Like, you just jut out into the middle until like either the 300 meters stopped or. Well, it'd really only be the Swiss that it'd connect with, so... I could see it connecting with Germany. There's this one point on the map, um, it stretches a bit down, like, they could connect to Germany. The likely... I, I don't know. Maybe, yes, but, like, it, it, it'd be something for the UN to decide. And I don't yeah. think the UN... I think that would, the establishing EEZs would be, like, the least of their worries. <laughs> well, so my mom just told me that we have dinner. <laughs> no, no, but you need to make the, finish the project. Yeah, first. kind of. Um, so I wanna, I wanna say time. something real quick. Yeah, then do say something and then we finish off. So like above Switzerland, there is a big like sort of sea something like a big lake. Yeah. Yeah. Would would place like Constance and Friedrichshafen would they become like ma like really major ports or how would I, that work? I think so because they are already established. Like they can immediately capitalize from this. I see I have the Google Maps thing open so I can directly see what you mean. Yeah. I think they they would directly benefit from this. Like immediately, even like with Czechia, with Slovakia, they don't even need the canal, honestly. They can just trade with, like, everyone then. Yeah. They oh, just yeah, go so through like Austria. ready for this? Yeah, kind of. So, then, who wants to finish off the podcast? Caden. Caden can finish off the podcast. Right. Do your thing. Do you <laughs> J just kind of say goodbye. <laughs> That's hello. Exactly. <laughs> uh, yes. Goodbye. No dive. Yo, bedankt voor het luisteren. Yo, yo. Thank you for listening, boys.